Hi everyone, my name is Evangelise and welcome to my Brooklyn Loft. As soon as you walk into the apartment, you're in the closet area where I store all my shoes, where I keep a lot of my linens and extra bed sheets, a lot of my winter and summer clothes, everything's in here. I also keep a lot of paint supplies, craft supplies in here as well to keep it nice and tidy. Before I show you guys the living room, I want to show you the kitchen, which is one of my favorite parts of the apartment. The kitchen is very different from when I first moved in. The counters were butcher block, and I ended up going to a scrap yard, and I got these made just for the space. I also had a really cool partnership with LG. They sent me this Counter Def Max refrigerator, which lights up when you tap it. It also has a filtered water system inside, which is really nice because I love sustainability. I do not use plastic bottles. I like to refill my bottles. So having this filtered water system inside of the fridge is really cool. I really like the layout of the kitchen because I can just put a tripod over here and record myself doing content. I don't cook a lot, but when I do, it looks pretty nice, especially when I'm hosting my friends. I can talk to them and cook. And I definitely think that the counters really bring out a different element to the kitchen. When I had the butcher block here, it was really dark and it clashed a lot with the wood on the floor. So I really think this added a whole new element to the space. I also ended up changing the cabinets in the kitchen. They used to be all the way down here, which limited the space that I had on the counter. And then my landlord was kind enough to install this backsplash for me, which I was really happy about because it is expensive. Even though this is an old factory, I do have a dishwasher and LG actually sent me this as well. And it pairs really nicely with the fridge. I love this a lot and I no longer have to do dishes, which is the best thing ever. And I do have pots in my oven. I cannot break tradition. I also have liver for my dog in here and he knows what's up. He knows the hiding spot. Sit. Good boy. our bedroom. I love it up here. A lot of people told me that I should put my bedroom downstairs, but all I do is sleep up here and then I spent most of the time downstairs anyways. I ended up changing up the floor, adding some sconces, and really making this space comfortable and airy. As you can tell, it's very different than the downstairs space. I like keeping it very light, minimal colors, nothing too crazy. It's super relaxing up here. This was probably my favorite project just because it really elevated the space. The dining room has some really cool pieces from my prop studio in Brooklyn. It's called Up Curated, and we have a lot of chairs. That's our main focus. I kind of wanted my dining room to feel a little different, so I ended up adding different color chairs, but they're all by Herman Miller. So this is the Herman Miller Task chair that I use for my office, but I also use it for my dining room chair. And then these two are a fiberglass chairs from the 1970s to 1980s in this really nice yellow, which is my favorite color. This is a DCM chair by Herman Miller and I found it on Facebook Marketplace for a really good price. It was broken, so I had to get it fixed with some special glue, but I'm obsessed with it. They're really, really expensive if you were to buy them brand new, and I think it looks so good with the other Herman Miller chairs, especially with this dining room table, which is my dream dining room table, and it's actually an outdoor table because I'm manifesting outdoor space one day when I move somewhere else in New York. I love joking around and saying that this is Arlo's favorite table too because it has cracks on it. If any food drops, it drops directly to the floor where he can come pick it up. I definitely definitely think this adds a really nice touch to the dining room and it looks very, very different and unique. This is my favorite piece in the whole apartment and I'm gonna say that a lot, but the reason I love this piece so much is because it's from 1932. This doubles as my storage space because I do not have any storage in this apartment. This is all one piece. It's very much Bauhaus style 
And I really like the metal detail, especially the tubular opening arms. I think that's a really nice touch. I also have my propagation station where I trim a lot of the plants that I have. There's a lot of groups online that will share cuttings. And in New York City, there's a lot of them. Having cuttings laying around just in case somebody wants one is really cool. And I also think that's a really nice way of sharing plants with people. <laughs> sleep on home goods this is where i got this mirror and most of the mirrors i've ever had and it was really affordable i think i bought it for 200 dollars, 250 and i like that it opens up the space a lot and it adds a lot of natural sunlight in from the windows when i said that most of my chairs are from herman miller i was not joking this right here is an elephant stool and whenever I have guests over, it's really nice to pull it out so I can have extra seating. And it also doubles as like a nice little decor piece. This was actually one plant. And when you're looking for a lot of plants and you don't wanna spend a lot of money, I recommend buying a massive plant and then breaking it apart. Originally, these three were separate hangers and I decided to put them together so they can cascade. <laughs> Now we are in my favorite part of the apartment, the living room. I spend 90% of my time here. I fall asleep here, I read here, I watch TikTok videos here, I do everything in this space. I recently just got this Herman Miller chiclet chair reupholstered in a really nice taupe leather, which I'm really excited about because these chairs usually don't come in leather, so it's very unique. I wanted a really cool floor lighting that added some character to this space. This floor lamp is by Ligné Rosé and it's magnetic so you can swap out this disc, which is really cool. We are standing on the rug of my dreams. It's by Nanny Marquina. It has a lot of different colors, but I've been waiting for this rug for so long and I didn't buy it full price. I actually bought it at the outlet, which was really cool. And when I first saw it, I wanted to scream because this has been on my wish list for so long and I can't believe it's actually my space. It looks so good. And I really think it ties in all the colors perfectly. One of the many things that I love about living in New York is the stuff that you can find in the trash. I actually found this coffee table while I was driving in Midtown. This is a Gavina Laccio table. If I have guests over, I can just pull it out and move it around, which is really cool. As much as I wanted a super large coffee table so I can fit more books and stuff like that, it wasn't realistic for the space because it wasn't so big. So having a super narrow and long coffee table I think really fits the space perfectly. Caetano Pesce is one of my favorite artists and I do have a few pieces from him in my showroom up curated. I got this book as a coffee table book. His take on art is so unique and I try collecting everything and anything from him that I can. The cartel store in Soho was closing down and they were liquidating everything. When I saw this bookshelf, I knew I needed it. It's really unique since I don't have a television in my apartment. I just sit down and stare at it sometimes. And what I like about it is that structurally, you can kind of make it whatever shape that you want. And I ended up going with this shape starting from the top so the plants up there can get a lot of sunlight going all the way down. And I think it just flows in the living room really well. This magazine stand is super unique. It's also from Cartel and I have all my Architectural Digest magazines in there that I like looking for inspo whenever I want to change things up a little bit. And I think it really adds a nice little touch of decor to the space. It's also very eye-catching. When people walk into my living room, that's probably the first thing they see besides the bookshelf. This doubles as a grow light for winter. It's by Jonathan Adler. This board means a lot to me and I love TikTok and the family that I've created on there. And I also think it looks pretty cool on there since I don't actually skateboard. <laughs> Last but not least, the blue couch. It stands out quite a bit because it's very, very blue. This couch is by Vitra Jasper Morrison. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. If you were to buy this brand new, it would cost you $10,000. I basically got this for such a good deal that I'm never giving it away and I'm gonna pass it down to my children. I take so many naps here and Arlo gets on here when I'm not home. He's not supposed to be on the couch, but Sometimes I catch him on here. Lighting is super important in an apartment, especially when you have tall ceilings. I really like how it bounces off with the floor lighting. And honestly, it really sets the mood in the apartment. I love it. 
this is where I get a lot of my apartment inspiration from. We're currently at Up Curated in Brooklyn. We are a vintage prop studio and we specialize in chairs. You'll probably notice this chair in specific is actually in my apartment as well and how I styled it. These two chairs are by Gaetano Pesce. I have that book in my apartment that you guys saw earlier. Since I can't have the big pieces in my apartment, I love having the smaller pieces by him in there. And this piece I picked up in Italy personally. It's a Luigi Massoni Dilly Dally from 1968. I was so happy when I found this piece that I knew that I wanted to take it home with me. To get it delivered to the US, it cost over $2,000 and I figured I might as well pick it up myself and buy a ticket. And it came here in perfect condition. I even put an Apple AirTag inside of the box to make sure that it gets to the United States in one piece. And here it is. So if you're in the Brooklyn area and you have some time, make sure to come through, check out Up Curated and say hello. Thank you guys so much for visiting. And if you want to tag along and see all the updates to this apartment, follow us at Hey Evangelies. And if you want to look at really cool furniture, check out Up Curated. Bye.